Welcome to the Worm Lab Analyses Overview. Worm Lab has the capabilities to detect and track worms as well as provide our users with analysis data that can easily be exported to Microsoft Excel or MATLAB. In this video, we will explore the types of analyses available and show how to move that analysis data to Microsoft Excel. If you haven't had the chance to look at the other two Worm Lab demonstrations that give an overview of the capabilities of the program, then please make sure to do so because we'll be enhancing your understanding of the program by digging deeper into its capabilities. Once the program is opened and you have detected and tracked the desired worms, you then can look at the data that the program has recorded for every movement by the chosen worms. At the top of the interface, when you hover your mouse above the fifth button from the left, you'll find that that button is entitled Worm Data. By clicking on this button, a window will pop up on the screen containing data from the tracings that have just been completed. This window is dockable and can be placed in many locations on the right or left side of the interface. At the top of the window is a drop down option that allows you to scroll through a number of different data sets. The different data sets that are available are position, instantaneous speed, moving average speed, direction, wavelength, length, width, and area. To the left of the drop down menu are two tab categories Track Summary and Frame Detail. If you'd like to move your data to either MATLAB or Microsoft Excel to more closely analyze your data, then you can easily do this by clicking the Export button in the bottom right corner of the window. Once the Export button is clicked, then in this demonstration, it sends a selected data to an Excel spreadsheet. Using the data generated from the Excel spreadsheet, you can illustrate your results to your colleagues in a multitude of ways. This is a general overview of the Worm Lab analyses capabilities. If you have any questions or like to see more, please get in touch with MBF Bioscience at www.mbfbioscience.com and we'll make sure that one of our staff scientists can help answer your questions.